That's why you have to know what you're up against in, in Historic. It's like super crucial if you want to win. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Anise here. Today we're playing the very first deck I played on my YouTube channel, and that is the Historic Grixis Bolus list. Uh, I added a few new cards from, Histor uh, from Dominario United, such as Shouldred the Apocalypse, uh, Liliana of the Veil, these cutdowns instead of the uh, one other removal spell we had in there. And I I think that's about it. Oh, I also added one Plaza of Heroes. Since we have a lot of legendaries in the deck, it just makes sense to have that. Um, we can use it to protect our creatures if we need to, because it gives Hexproof and Indestructible. And also, it can make it easier to cast our Nickel Bolas as well. So that's, that's the reason for that. And uh, before, the deck was doing really, really well. Uh, I think typically we have close to 70% win rate in Historic. And with the new additions, I think it's gonna just get better. So like Lily Liliana will be really good against aura decks, things like that, where they have lots of protection spells. And then we can just make them sacrifice the creature. And it comes on turn three, so that's much earlier than or not much earlier, but it's it's earlier than the Chandra uh four would come down. So I'm hoping that makes up for the difference because it's a little bit weaker than Chandra uh was. So uh yep. Yeah. We gotta try it out and see. And then Shieldred, I think this will be really good against Phoenix decks because uh, basically they like to cycle a lot. And if you can get this down, then they're gonna be basically killing themselves whenever they cast Faithless Looting. And uh, your life gain will help offset some of the matchups like Phoenix or like uh, some of the aggressive decks, Mono Red, stuff like that. So I'm hoping that this performs as well as I think it will. And uh, the, it could possibly be better to be a Kalidus or something else. I was thinking about Hottie Jin a little bit because it comes down a turn earlier, but probably a little bit harder to cast Hottie Jin. And it's got four toughness instead of five, which is a big difference. So I, I really like the five toughness on this one. Um, yeah, but that's about it. And uh, let's get into some games and see how it does. So see you in a bit. Um, when it goes first, not great. But I do like that we have the sweeper. Oh, I think I'm willing to try this. If we start losing, maybe we can come back. Would have been perfect if we had a one mana removal, but alas, we don't. Okay, so this is the angels deck. Kind of not great. Depends on their draw though. With life gain, not angels. Let's collect the company. Okay. I guess this could be okay. I won't be able to kill this Trellisara easily though. We might end up taking like quite a lot of damage from that. Taking five here, we'll take at least four next turn. Not ideal, but is there a but? <laughs> uh, do I sweep or do I Colgan's command? I guess I sweep. Because, I mean, they are really close to the combo, so I don't want to let that go off. But this Trellisar is going to be hard to kill, still. Okay, he's got an Innkeeper. Hmm. I kind of want to call Skin's command. Kill this. But then he could just play another creature. Maybe I'm playing Bolas here. I 
It does leave me a little bit open. I just got a Coco. Could lose here. Alright, not Coco, but now this Trailsaur is too big. Didn't want that. That is unfortunate. Probably Cole against this innkeeper making discard. No, I can't do that. And this is tough. Can't Lily's now or he's just gonna sack the innkeeper. Just having a Chandra for last turn would have been pretty nice. Alright, uh this tapped. I think I'm gonna block with the bullets and use the Cooligans command, maybe. Or oh, I could innkeeper discard. He won't attack with the voice, but I have to chump block. Oh no, wait, I don't have to block because I can claim. But that still leaves me in a bad spot for next turn. this Trailsara and maybe we can draw into something. Ah. That's bad. So they're all gonna get bigger. So I'll be taking five this way. Spur two damage. Alright, we're saving the collective company. Guess we can see how he attacks. I mean, I think I know what he's gonna do. Oh, he attacked with both. Okay. So let's kill this voice of the blast and gain three life. Alright, that's a little bit good. So if we can get some removal, we can play that and Lily. Which we did. Okay. So we sweep here. And then we Lily and we kill this Trelasara, and then we are in the lead. Nobody knows Dominaria Shadow. Nice! <laughs> Alright, so I think we found the right line. Uh, there's no haster, so I'm probably safe to attack here. Sweet! So we came back. And that's the game! Nice! Got there. Whew, that was so close, though. <laughs> oh, man. And good thing we didn't cling first, or they would have known to not attack Ren with both. So yeah, that was, that was really sweet. Awesome! On to the next game. Yeah, one drop removal. Kind of two drop. Well, we got two drop here. And shielded. This will be really good against some aggressive deck. And I think this is the wizard's deck, so keep it. Fortunately, our black source is tapped, but seems okay. Probably they'll play one of their... Okay, Baltimore. This thing. That's kind of a new inclusion people have been adding. I could Molten Impact here. Be more efficient, so maybe I'll do that. I don't think there's a good reason to 
not. Yeah, it's not likely I'm going to get any 2 for 1s out of Molten Impact, so I'll just go ahead and use it now anyway. Maybe aren't playing anything, they're just expressive iterationing, so that's a good turn for us. Gives us time to get some lands down. Maybe they'll drop something here, yeah. Okay. Alright, Soul Scar was like the only thing I could think of that might have been good to wait for Ultimate Impact, but it's still fine. the drown. We can't cast both the drown and the push because of the way I played my lands, unfortunately. So let's play this one I guess. I think the only reason you would want to kill these on your turn is because of wizard lightning, but uh, it's actually usually a lot better to kill it on their turn because otherwise uh, they they can cast like the throw charge spell. All right, so let's go ahead and kill this. I guess I'll use the drone in the lock. Well, okay, maybe the... Oh, let's see if they get like a land and play uh, the charge spell. Maybe I should have countered the Balmor so they aren't getting these bumps, but... Okay, so they don't have anything. Kill this. Won't impact, doesn't matter. Hmm, they do have another land. Okay, so maybe I won't kill this now. Because I do have the Sweltering Suns coming up. I can play Shieldred. It's one of the new cards of trying out. Seems like it would be good against a lot of the aggro decks. Big body, gains you some life, has death touch. Alright, that's a big dude. This is lightning, okay. So he's gonna kill it here. You're gonna kill my Shieldred. Maybe I could have waited a turn so I could hold up uh, Fatal Push. Kind of stop this from happening. But. I've been learned, I guess. Anyway, we got rid of their wizards, so I think we're pretty relatively safe. Maybe they'll attack with the land. Okay. Be nice to draw some. Oh, I should have played a tap land there. Be nice to draw some other cards though, <laughs> like a bolus or something, or even a uh, Kalidus would be really good here. cast their spell, break this charge, we can kill it so they don't get the uh, it's like two for one basically, or one and a half for one, I guess we need something to deal with their land though pretty soon here okay, we got another fatal bush, that's good 
I hope we can get like dark intimations or one of our top end cards. Alright. Come on, Kalidas. Yeesh. Alright, we could be dead here. We still haven't drawn anything. Kinda crazy. Maybe that's what he wanted? No. Okay. Alright, so he's out of spells, otherwise he wouldn't have done it like that. Oh, that's nice. So we survive a little bit longer. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to keep this in my hand. So now we just need any of our draw cards. Oh man. I guess I could have held it to bluff and to discard to the Convulsive Research if we draw it, but... Oh, this might be too little too late though, because they have the land attacking in. Alright, that's pretty good. This will kill the land at least. I just have to hope they don't top deck a wizard's lightning or something. Witness a moat of my power. All right. That's sad. Man. So many lands. Unfortunate. All right, on to the next one. Okay. We go first. It's good against the aggro, but we don't have the third land. We do have a way to draw it, so I think I can try to keep it. Start with this one. So we can fatal push. Okay. Against elves. Gotta kill the the first one, otherwise they just go off. And if we can find this sweltering, I mean that that'll really like the red source. I mean, the sweltering would be in good shape. Hmm. All right, let's draw. Okay, we did get the land, which is nice. I think I can be okay with not drawing more, so I'll just drop that one off. And... Do I care to kill this? So they're gonna have four or five total in a... Alright, I'm gonna let them have it, because I want to just sweep the whole thing. Hopefully it's not a mistake. so I have to kill one of them now. Because they need to have four creatures for it to flip. So we'll just sweep this. And they'll probably rebuild, and then we'll sweep again. And we'll be in good shape at that point. Okay, they just have the mana dorks, which is fine. Uh, so... What is this? 
Okay. Well, I'll just make them discard after they draw with the Colgans, I guess. So I have something to get back. Oh, okay. Hold control. They draw. And discard and deal. As long as it's not a collect company, it should be fine. Okay. Cool. Now we just need to draw something. I mean, I guess it's not bad. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. All right. We got the win. We on to the next game then. Okay, that we have land. We have a sweeper and a removal. Eventually counter, so pretty decent. Keep it. They have Teferi and Teferi sleeves. I wonder if they're playing control. Although they started with blue green, so don't know what that means. Well, Thomas is like. Make uh, flash or something. Hmm. Or is this like a combo? Some sort of combo deck? Hope not. Should I kill something? There is the uh, the combo deck. The win on turn. Four? Alright. I better hold up mana just in case. I think I think there's a combo deck that wins with four mana where they play um Seagate something and then uh Neoform, Neoform combo deck. Pretty potent if you let it go off. Alright, uh I cannot counter that. But I can sweep next turn. Maybe that's good enough? That looks like the Neoform deck. Man, I don't know if I can sweep here. But... Yeah, if I don't, I could also die. I think. I can't kill the target of the Neoform. I guess I do have counter spells. Should I kill this innkeeper then? Kill the innkeeper and hold up the counter spell, maybe. Man, I don't know, this is tough. Could be dead here. Uh, uh, I don't like that. I think it doesn't work if I counter the second one. So let me do that. I think. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Because this one will go off and normally you would get the uh, dual caster mage. So yeah, it doesn't work if I counter that. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna take five, but I guess it's fine. Blind that. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna try it. They're gonna try again. I have divide, so it should be fine also. Okay. 
Okay, I guess I'm sweeping next turn, probably. I'll make them discard their last card, which might be another Neoform. Then I'll just sweep this. And then I think we win. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe the storm's over. Uh, let's not tap all our red. That would be bad. Okay. So this card, your last card. What is it? It was Neoform. Okay. And if we sweep this board, then now they they can't win. Oh, I think we got it. Nice. That's why you have to know what you're up against in, in Historic. It's like super crucial if you want to win to know the matchups. Um, I was thinking I was going to pull against, but they don't have a creature, so it's a little bit of a waste. Uniform is Sorcerer. Okay. It's good to know. Let me... I guess XL and Neoform, I don't know. Okay. Can't quite Croxa yet, unfortunately. So they're trying to build up another combo, I guess. Maybe they drew one of the pieces, so that's why they haven't given up yet. Oh, you know, they have energy. Maybe they have... Hmm. I think that can resolve. Just have ace. And kill that. Do I want to cross on my turn? Alright. Yeah, I guess we have enough mana to do both, so that's good. Bye bye, Kling. You did a good job. Is that another Neoform? Three Neoforms in the top ten cards of their deck? No, okay, it's just a land. Okay. Well, then, that's all she wrote. We got a Croxa on board. I don't think they can deal with that. So that should be game. They're gonna have to discard here. Yeah, so I don't- I'm not sure, I mean, what they're hoping, but it's- it's over. Unless they have some secret tech, I don't know, but it seems like it's over. Eh? Eh? Are you just waiting for the last possible second to scoop? Are you? Alright, they don't want to scoop. Okay. Oh, actually, I can make them discard here. Well, it doesn't matter. I can also just kill them with Polygon's Pit. Alright. Dual Caster Mage. Oh no. No, that's fine. Right. Destroy artifact, deal two damage. That should be that should be it. Because the Croxa will deal three and then from the trigger and then the and when it hits them does six, so it's nice. Boom. Boom. Unless they wrote me. Come on, dude. Okay. Nice. We got there. Sweet. All right. So we're we're coming back. Good. That's a nice patch of wins there. Sweet. Rixus is still good, it seems.
Good to know, good to know. I'm still not sure if Shieldred is right. Liliana feels pretty good in the deck. Maybe Shieldred should be another Kalidus. I don't know. But the 4-5 body is not irrelevant, and getting life is also very nice. So, tough to say. But yeah, alright. Well, that's probably it for the games. See you in the post-game wrap-up. Okay, so that's it for the games of the Grixis Bullis deck in Historic. The deck did very, very well. Uh, it seems to be pretty much crushing the meta. I went 21 and 11 so far. I've been playing this deck quite a bit. It's just really fun. Um, did well against Wizards, did well against Mono Red and Mono Green. Those are like the main decks, I would say, in Historic. Uh, the UA control matchup is a bit harder. It really depends on if they get their Narset down. If they can get an Arset down early and you can't stop it, then uh, that usually leads to you losing. So as much as possible, try to stop them from getting the Narset, or uh, try to find your Eliminate so you can remove it quickly, or, or your Molten Impact, something like that. Uh, but it's not impossible. I mean, I won, uh, won one game against UI, and I actually probably should have won two, but I messed up a little bit on one of the games. Uh, same for Wizards. There were a couple games there that uh, I should have won, but I miss, uh, misplayed my cards a little bit or mistimed my cards a little bit. So uh, those two matchups are definitely better than it seems. You just got to get used to the deck, get used to how to play and uh, what to keep, what to uh, mulligan, that kind of stuff. So definitely very strong contender in the meta, doing great. Will definitely 100% get you to Mythic if that's what you want to do. And who doesn't like playing Nicol Bolas? So uh, try it out, have some fun. And until next time, see ya.